as a boy growing up. And watching those big tugboats block through that little old locking dam and sleepy little old Eddieville, you know, on a sun, lazy, slow summer afternoon, they're standing in as a barefoot boy. Look at the names on the back of those boats, Cincinnati, uh, Vicksburg, New Orleans, Shreveport. And it would churn out of that old lock, and I know those old boys, this time tomorrow, we're gonna be way along in something much more lively and uh, much more exciting. In every uh, boy's life, there's a river. And if it's, if it's real, uh, they're much more fortunate for it. The one thing about Old Eddieville, and all the small towns when I was growing up, there was a demo great democracy at the barbershop. Young boys would have to go get their hair cut at the barbershop. And you'd be sitting there with a bank president. You'd be sitting there with a farmer. You'd be sitting there with uh, the wealthiest person maybe in town. You'd be sitting there maybe with the town vagrant. And it was the village sculpturing this young boy's character, unknowingly. And unfortunately, we're losing that. Uh, not that many years ago, you drive through a small town at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and the sidewalks would be full of kids walking home from school, stopping in at stores, stopping in here, going there. Today, we build our schools uh, schools on the outside of town where everybody has to be bused in car, uh, in, in car automobiles back and forth to school. That close-knit sense of community and that influence that the adult population has on young minds, you know, you all, it has to be contrived. You've got to have them in clubs. You've got to have them in, in, on ball teams. You've got to have them in church. But when I was growing up, we were fortunate enough, it was just kind of part of the culture that you walk through every day.